you may recall, did a video probably about a month ago or so, included this pistol in it. I had a weapon malfunction in that video where a uh, stove piped and jammed up. Stayed in that video, the gun hadn't been fully broken in, wasn't blaming it on the gun. But I wanted to test it again, adding additional lube and getting it all set up and broken in and everything. And then just shooting about 50 to about 70 rounds through it and seeing how it fares. Right now, if you can see, I currently have somewhere in between 16 and 20 in the mag. I've got a 50 pack of the 57 by 28 millimeter Federal American Eagle 40 grains. And I'm gonna go probably through the whole pack, but this is not for accuracy. This isn't for anything except for just straight up, will the gun have any malfunctions? Now yeah, around about 70 rounds. So let's give her a try. Is the last bullet? Last one, just like last time. That one will be put on the top this time. And with the price of these bullets, I'll say, it'd be great if you left a like, maybe subscribed a little bit because this video is gonna cost quite a bit. And so far it's not looking promising on the very last bullet in each mag on this gun. So here's a full 20. Let's see if it goes through the whole mag or if it just does 19 and then jams with a stovepipe. Lovely. No damage to the rounds or anything like that, just catches on the very last one. Don't even inject. Yeah. One more mag. And I saw some people commenting on the last video to take it and Ruger would warranty it and they would uh, get everything fixed up because they've had issues with theirs out of the box kind of thing. But I did buy this secondhand, so I cannot get it warrantied because I don't have any warranty on it. So there's no point in even trying with that. I've heard from the people that commented on the last video, they did seem rather adamant that Ruger was good about warranting it and having a very good experience with all of that, but never warrantied a gun except for the Bear Creek that I tried to warranty that wouldn't warranty for me because I didn't have a receipt, but that's a whole nother video that's already on my channel. If you wanna see it, go uh, check it out probably a couple months ago on that one. All right, one more. Actually, better idea. Instead of doing 20. Doo -doo -doo. So now we've got 10 in there. We're going to see if that works or if it jams on the 10th one this time. Didn't jam on the 10th one that time. Let's try the last 10. Let's give it a try. Try to do it faster this time. Ah. Just fine on that one. Barrel's getting warm. Okay, last try. Just fine. So, you saw, put mm, probably about six mags through this thing, 20 rounds a piece total in the life of the gun now. So, 120 rounds around about. Yeah, that should be about, no, it should be about 100 total life right now. Other than jamming on the very last shot on a full mag of mag dumping it, seems to be working fine. Again, I love the gun. It's just sucks that I have been having that issue. At the same time, it's not a big enough of a concern for me to either have it looked at or spend another 200, 300 dollars to get a gunsmith to check it over and rework it really. But yeah, if you like the video, like and subscribe. This sure as hell uh, run quite a bit when it comes to ammo cost. Huh, thanks for watching.